What's up, guys? I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com, and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now, in this class, I'm going to show you guys how to use the SAR instruction. So let's get started. Now, the SAR instruction is short for Shift Arithmetic Write. This instruction performs a write arithmetic shift on its destination operand. Now, this instruction is identical to the SHR instruction. So let me show you how that works right now. Let's open up this WordPad here. Now, this is the syntax of a SAR instruction. We start off by typing in SAR. We hit space. We type in our destination operand, we hit comma, we hit space again, then we type in our count. Our count is how many times we want this to shift over to the right. If we have a count of one, it will shift over once to the right. If we have a count of two, it will shift over twice to the right. So down here, this kind of just show you how it, it works. Uh, this is a 8-bit operand here. This is a 8-bit binary, and this is a value of two, right, over here. Now, if we use the SAR instruction and we have a count of one, uh, everything gets shipped over one, the highest bit, it's replaced by zero, everything shifts over one, and whatever was in the lowest bit here gets uh, moved to the CF flag, it's copied to the CF flag. So this is the result of a SAR with a count of one. Let me show you how that works in MU8086. Let's open it up here, let's minimize this. Let's start off by moving some values around. I'm gonna move into AL, this binary value here of zero, 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 zero. So I think I added an extra zero, but let's just, just count it. It should be eight here. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I got eight uh, bits here, right? So this is binary for two, right? This one bit here is a two. So since this is a binary code here, we have to make sure we, we add B to the end of this. So we're moving this binary code or this binary value. It's an 8-bit value and it has a value of 2 into AL. AL, AL is going to be our operand, our destination operand, right? So that's why I used AL because AL is an 8-bit uh, register. So now let's use the SAR instruction. Let's type in SAR. We're going to hit space. Let's just line them up first. So again, we're going to hit space. We're going to type in our destination operand. Our destination operand is AL. So we're gonna hit comma again. Now we're gonna hit space. Now we're gonna type in our count. Again, a count is how many times you want it to shift over to the right. I only want it to shift over to the right one time, so I'm gonna have a count of one, so I'll add one here. So let's hit emulate to see what happens. I'm gonna hit emulate now. Now our first line of code is highlighted and move into AL, this 8-bit binary code here, which is a binary code for two. So once I hit single step, AL should have a value of two. So let's hit single step. As you can see here, AL has a value of 2. Now our second line of code is highlighted, the SAR instruction. So once I hit single step, uh, AX should have a value of 1. So let's hit single step. Now as you can see, AX ha now has a value of 1. I'll explain to you why AX has a value of 1. So let's open this up here. Remember, we moved into AL this binary code here for 2, right? But then when we use the SAR instruction and uh, we use the count of 1, uh, it turned into this. This is binary for one. So that's why we got a result for one. Again, the highest bit gets replaced by zero. Everything else shifts over one. So this one gets shifted over here. All the zeros shift over. And this zero gets moved into the CF register. So that's how we got a result of this here. So that's why we have a value of two in our uh, AL register now. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.